this is going to be my keto 101 how I approached keto and basically what I did to lose 100 pounds okay so the very first thing I did was I did some searching on the internet I looked on Google and I looked on YouTube for dr. Stephen Finney he was really the first person that I looked up in order to get like um, a professional point of view. I heard so many great things about him. Him and Jeff Bullock, they I believe wrote a book together or something like that. But um, I didn't really get much into Jeff Bullock because as soon as I saw Dr. Stephen Finney's um, videos on YouTube, I was pretty much inspired and felt like that keto was going to be the lifestyle that I was going to stick to because I had tried it in the past and it totally failed miserably because I wasn't counting my calories and that is a big huge deal in how I lost my weight. I searched Dr. Stephen Finney on YouTube and I watched a few of his seminars. I will go ahead and link down below um, the ones that I like felt were the most helpful to me and um, I will be linking a whole bunch of stuff down below for you guys so things will be easier for you guys to find. So in Dr. Finney's seminars there was a lot of great information on why keto works, how it works and basically what it's doing to your body and that sort of thing and then how to go about how to go about it and how um, you convert from burning glucose to burning ketones as your source of energy. So I really highly recommend going down there in the description box and clicking on one of those videos uh, or all of the videos that I post down below or any of the websites because it'll definitely help you in your keto journey. So you want to do your research, that's number one. Um, the second thing I did was I looked for support. So I went to Facebook and I found a lot of support in a lot of different groups in the very beginning But then I kind of weeded out all of the negative Facebook groups as I went It really only took me one day So the only group that I really found it out of the groups that I had seen uh, Was keto adaptation that group. I always mention it in my videos. So that one's a really good source of information I also have a Facebook group, you guys, I would love for you to join. We only have about 100 people right now and two admins, one being myself and one being a close friend of mine, Vanity. We are both doing the keto lifestyle and we would love for you guys to join. It is a closed group, so you just have to search Adapting to Keto and we can't wait to see you guys there. Go to a keto calculator, I will link that one down below, and then you'll want to enter in all your specific information, your height, your weight, your... Um, age, if you're a male, female, all that kind of stuff. So you're going to want to enter all that stuff in and then choose your deficit that you want to be in. So do you want to lose faster? Do you want to lose a little bit at a time? I recommend like maybe one or two pounds a week. That's how I did it and it it was it was great. And I used the keto calculator except for I added a few hundred calories since I'm breastfeeding my daughter. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's different. So you're going to want to enter in your information into the keto calculator and then download some sort of calorie counting app and the one that I chose to be the most helpful for me was my fitness pal okay so you'll have your macros which is the fat carbs and protein you'll have those goals you have your calorie goals um, and then you will go ahead and adjust that into your macronutrient goals in my fitness pal and basically from there on all you have to do is maybe get a food scale which has been a huge help I weigh everything because especially with fat if you go over like a little bit maybe half a tablespoon that's a lot you know that could be almost a hundred calories 50 calories probably for a half a tablespoon but you'll learn more um, like measurements as you go you'll be able to eyeball a little bit better as you go and then soon enough you'll be able to intuitively eat like I said I do recommend a food scale if you guys have a lot of weight to lose and just want to get really serious about tracking because tracking has helped me I'm not saying that everybody needs to weigh out every single little thing because not everyone has time for that so basically this is it you guys that's how I started keto I just did my research I watched as many you know YouTube videos as I could on the subject there's not that many out there but the best ones that I have found are from Dr. Stephen Finney so I will link those down below um, get a calorie counter I suggested that you guys use my fitness pal because that's what I use and you guys can friend me on there if you guys want it's X Michiko X and you guys can see what food I eat get a food scale if you guys unless you want to bust out the measuring cups for everything and I just find it's better clean up using a food scale and start measuring start tracking accurately as accurately as possible that's basically it if there's anything I missed please leave a comment down below and we can like start a discussion down there and then I can also add things to the description box if you guys like want more information on certain things I will load that biatch up I'm gonna go because it is just so loud out here and I am terribly sorry if it was annoying 
but um, I just wanted to get this video out for you guys just to get you started and um, yeah let me know down below if you guys have any more questions and I will answer them as quickly as I can. Bye.